Hello, it's this week's Retro Tech 100 Facebook Pages 20PRK Challenge. This week we're playing Vampire Saviour 2, and I'm running out of time to submit my entry, so we're going straight in, no practice. We're going straight into the game. And my controller feels a bit stiff, it's not... Hmm. It feels a bit wonky, so my hopes aren't exactly high for how well I'm going to do. <laughs> now, I'm gonna do a button check first. Yeah, okay, button checks are fine. You can just go in and play the game. So, as usual with the Red for Tech 100 Facebook page, you can practice a game as much as you like, but once you start recording, that is your run. Good or bad, I get the feeling it's going to be bad because Dark Stalkers you have to play slightly different to Street Fighter. And if my controller isn't working up to 100% speed, then it's going to be very difficult for me to uh, actually get done here. So, Dark Stalkers is essentially the horror version of Street Fighter, but there are some differences. Um, in the way that the, the matches work and you know the, the characters are quite interesting you do have your, your tropes like Dimitri the guy I'm playing is essentially your Ryu um, you've got a couple of other fighters like uh, John Tolbain in the previous Darkstalkers games was like Blanca and uh, so on and so forth <laughs> Vampire Saviour Time is an extension of Darkstalkers 3 so what happened with Darkstalkers 3 is after they released it they released two kind of um, amendments to it two, two enhancements and they're different in their own ways and they were released at roughly the same time um, one was called Vampire Hunter 2 and one was called Vampire Saviour 2 they, they have different characters Different fighting mechanics, and um, yeah, just a few changes here and there. We're playing Vampire Savior too, because in my opinion, that's got the best characters overall. Although it is missing my favourite character, the dog. So I am playing with a character that I'm not 100% familiar with. It's a lot of fun. The vampire games are great. Um, I used to play a lot of um, Night Warriors Dark Stalkers Revenge on the Saturn. Um, when that first came out, that was a great fighting game. I, that was the first one that uh, of the series that I actually played. And um, yeah, I got really into it. And then uh, I got Dark Stalkers 3 on PS1, and that was a lot of fun. And I never really played the first game. I had to go back to it as part of the, uh, the Legacy Collection on 360, where you've got Marvel. Um, was it Marvel vs. Capcom and Dark Stalkers in one package or something? I can't quite remember what it was, but anyhow, I played it very late. Is what I'm trying to say. I played the sequels before the original, but still, it's a lovely series, and I would love to see a new game in the series come out. Now that Street Fighter V is nearing the end of its service life, then. Maybe they'll look at Dark Stalkers and do something with it. Who knows? I certainly hope it isn't left to just die. Because it is a great deal. So you'll notice that one of the major changes from Street Fighter is you don't reset your health bars at the end of every round. Where your health lead is, is where you begin from on the next round. Much like a killer instinct, that kind of thing. Okay. Vanity Paradise, Lele. Also known as Sienko in the UK and US versions. Uh, Vampire Hunter 2 never got a US or UK version, so we are playing the Japanese one with the Japanese names. 
for when this did come out, uh, when uh, the Darkstalkers games did come out in Europe, in the US, they weren't censored, which was great, so you get all the blood, all the gore, all the violence, uh, some characters can chop others in half, and then their bodies reattach and they keep fighting, it's cool stuff like that. I do not want to be locked in a corner with this guy. Look at his ass of doom poking at me.
Pyron, Py if I remember rightly, Pyron was the boss of regular Street uh, regular Dark Souls 3. Although it's been a while since I played, but I thought he was the boss, or, or one part of the boss. Yes. Maybe not the final form of him. of God. That's Jeddah. I've no idea what he's saying, but he's Jeddah cheese. Jeddah by name, cheese by nature. Excuse the, the weird mutated baby in the background, but this is the boss of Vampire Savior 2, if I remember rightly. So, final round. I can't remember if he's got another mutation or not. We will find out together, hopefully, if I beat him. Isn't it nice to have all these factoids and knowledge <laughs> about a game that you can talk about as you play? This is the problem with going in raw on a game, because you don't have any prep. You don't have any information about the game to hand that you can't remember off the top of your head. And it's been a long Sunday, so the top of my head is filled with shite. Ah! Getting destroyed. And this is my final credit, so this is going to be as far as we get. Can we take a round? If we're lucky. Got a round, that'll do. <laughs> it's gonna have to do because he's just absolutely wiped the floor with the rest of me. Ah, uh, Jeddah. So cheesy. And that's all she wrote, folks. We got a fair way through the game, but we didn't quite make it to the end. Um Somewhat of a disappointment, but then again, I had no practice this week for the Retrotech 120B Facebook challenge. Been a long one. My eye still hasn't healed, by the way, which is why I'm not on camera. But regardless, I hope you've enjoyed watching, even if we didn't get all the way to the boss. As I say, your one recorded run is it, so no matter how well you do, 
doesn't matter what happens i started so that's the one i've got to finish on anyway if you want to join in next week's 20p arcade challenge join up on the facebook group and get get stuck in come on get stuck in you dirty beret x right okay people i hope you enjoy the rest of your sunday what little there is left of it and until next time boy boy